Welcome to another edition of the Angry Craftsman. Today we're going to be cutting shapes on the Thunder Laser 51130 uh, and testing the four inch lens to see how thick of material we can actually cut. Today's adventure is going to be cutting the shape of Kentucky and a small little board will be the finished projects. We've got solid, solid cherry, uh, measuring it a little over one inch thick, um, or 25 point something millimeters. Uh, we're gonna throw it in the, the 51 130. We're gonna run it at four millimeters a second and 90% power, uh, one pass just to see what we can do. The lens that we're using is American Photonics four inch lens. I do not have a Thunder four inch lens to compare it to. Um, if they'd like to send me one, I'm more than happy to test it and its capabilities. But other than that, I don't take sponsors or anything like that. Um, that's a whole nother subject that we'll get on. A lot of people ask questions, well, what's the capabilities of these lasers? So today we're gonna to test out what the capability is on cutting with one pass. Um, I know that if we vary the speed and go one or two millimeters a second, uh, we'll have some different, re different results than say going five or six. We choose four, it's our workflow. Uh, it's how we run it on the machine and then I bring it into the shop and then I run everything through the planer to thin everything down to the specs that I need uh, it makes our life a little bit easier by doing it that way instead of me handing her the very specific thickness of board already. So let's watch and see what happens. Okay, so we're at 25.78 millimeters, so a little over a one inch thick. Okay, let's see what it looks like. So I can see a few spots that it didn't cut through and a few spots that it did cut through. Okay, everything's been run through the planer. 
uh, not too final thickness, however. We'll zero that out. Now, let's see what this cut. So as I ran it through, I'm not sure if you can see 23.39. Millimeters, again, that's one pass. The edges, nothing's really coming off on my hand. As I grab my square, hopefully I've got a good angle. It's a nice square edge. We planed down a little bit more on the Kentucky. Some of the areas I chipped and broke. So we're showing 22.56 is what I managed to mill it down to before it came out. You can see the edges, a little bit, little sticky from the sap. You can see the discoloration or the change from as it cut. So one pass, effectively a little under one inch, um, depending, and what, what we found also is, sorry about hitting the camera, depending on the grain structure of the cherry or any of the wood is, is how it cuts. Uh, we've got a few pieces that come right out at over one inch. They cut right out with no issues. Uh, <clears throat> some, most of them are like this. However, like I said, a, a couple of them cut with no issues, one pass. It's got to have something to do with the grain structure and how the grain is compressed during the growth of the trees. I'm not real sure. So hopefully you'll take something away from this video. Uh, the fact that the 4-inch American Photonics lens partnered with the Thunder 51-130 uh, will cut through right at about an inch at 4 millimeters a second and 90% power. I figure if we slow it down to one, two millimeters a second, it'll probably get all the way through with no issues. Um, if you ever question either of the laser or the lens, I wouldn't hesitate purchasing either of them. Granted, I own them both. So hopefully you've learned something. Other than that, leave a comment. Have a great day.